Talktuk as yeah. well. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah, because I was like the ba the pastor, the president. I know I I misheard you first. I'm like neither. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That's fair enough. Talk to takes three passengers. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good ride, Muhammad. It's a good ride. Yeah. So yeah, we got, we're still, we uh, waiting for Jawhara. We're still waiting for Jawhara and um, Anisa. Uh -huh. Mabruk for Bahrain Film Festival around 2020. Mabruk, congrats, man. Yeah. We just won Best Short Film for Women yesterday. Not bad. Not bad, it's great. <laughs> so, uh, starting uh, from uh, Roadblock. Here we are. <laughs> I know uh, how difficult uh, was shooting uh, when you uh, when you made the roadblock, where demonstrations everywhere. Uh, it wasn't easy at all to shoot. Uh, so, uh, Dalia, would you elaborate for us uh, the difficulties you faced when you were uh, doing the block and? I think some people uh, thought that this is a real roadblock. Um, are you all hearing me well first? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Um, I wouldn't say difficult. I would say we had uh, we had a few bumps on the road because we had to take decision very fast. Um, so basically Pascal that, he, that is here with us, she wrote the film during 2019 uh, and it was in a, in a post-revolution uh, background. And what happened is in October, we actually had the revolution in Lebanon. So we had to think fast to, to, to do some little tweaking in the scenario for it to, to be happening during the revolution. And, what was happening in Lebanon was that uh, it was every day was changing. The revolution was like full on in Beirut and then full on in Tripoli and everything. So we had to improvise. And then we decided to go to, to Tripoli to, to shoot or the, the revolution parts. And then we also had this, um, those question of where are we gonna do the roadblock because we can't do it in a place where people are actually, actually doing the revolution because it could eventually be a bit dangerous. We didn't wanna take any part in any specific political uh, ideology. So yeah, we had, we had to go through some, uh, some tweaking and some improv improvising to, to be able to, to make it. Yeah, and and thank, I, you, thank you, Marine, for, for doing this. <laughs> thank you, all of us. But I would add that, yes, for the roadblock, we had to find a remote place. We couldn't be in the middle of a road because it would have been questionable and, uh, and we could have been stopped much more easily as well because people were trying to unblock some roads. Uh, exactly, and yeah. so, so we had to, to find somewhere uh, hidden sort of to, to shoot, but which was quite nice because it was like a bubble uh, also for a few days and everyone was like uh, uh, taking time from their implication in, uh, in uh, the revolution. So, so we did it fast in our mm. little bubble and then we went back everyone uh, to what we were doing in the streets or all there. So. That's yeah, there was... Sorry, go ahead, Pascal. For the revolution scenes in Tripoli, the super funny part is obviously all these people are not extras. It was a, the real revolution. So we're filming with real thuwar, yani real revolutionaries. And so they see this camera and for the first seven takes, everybody's staring right at the camera, ruining every single take. Uh, and so mm -hmm. it took a minute to get everyone to just ignore the camera, do what you actually do. So that was a pretty fun, it was a fun, that part yeah. was a fun sweet challenge. But in all the, mm -hmm. all the aspects, it was more fun than, yeah, than difficult. It was also it was also like giving us the opportunity to take part. We were already all, all taking part in our way in our lives, but that was quite different. It was very intense to be in the middle of those people in Tripoli. It also a bit of change of the scenery for us that were more in Beirut, and to be able to take part that way and and it was it was very beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. 
that's cool. Well, Chad, uh, it seems story. I think Anissa is trying to. Uh... Yes, yes. Hi, Anissa. Hello, sorry to be late. Technical issue. Hello, guys. How are you? you? I'm fine. You? Happy to be here, <laughs> even. And virtually. we are happy to have the pass as well. <laughs> so, uh, moving to uh, Kader. Kader, is it based on true story? Talk, talk. Yes, it is based on true story. It's a story of um, of a young woman. She's like 34. And uh, her husband left her and uh, for for an illegal uh, migration. He he just Would like. Would you raise uh, your voice, please? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, it's a story about a thirty-four-year-old uh, woman. Her husband left her, and he uh, illegally fled the country. And he went to Italy or to Greece, and uh, she she found herself lost and without any income or anything so she decided to work on a tuk-tuk uh, mm -hmm. you guys know what is a tuk -tuk, right okay so she decided uh, to to work on a tuk-tuk to uh, to to provide for her family she has two kids and she has a mother with a brain cancer and she needed to to save them and then of course in in egypt the the tuk-tuk field is is all full of uh, men and they're like bothering her because she's like taking their bread and butter and uh, it's not working. So uh, I'm telling a, a very long story in a very short time. And uh, and the woman we've heard that she, uh, because she went to prison because she couldn't pay the, the rest of the money of the tuk-tuk and she went, the, the real woman, she went actually to prison and she took five years. And then there's a charity organization that got her out and got a lot of women out with uh, similar cases. And uh, and she kind of disappeared when she got out. She got out after three years, not five, because they paid her debt. And she kind of disappeared. She took her kids and her probably her mom died in, in real life. And then she just disappeared. We can't find her anymore. So it was actually uh, half of the story that we knew. And then we decided to make up like a lot of uh, a lot of incidents inside. That's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shireen. Uh... Did you find the problem uh, shooting uh, or managing such a difficult location? Shireen? Shireen? Shireen. So I I know. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Can you guys yeah. hear yes. me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm experiencing some difficulty, so I hope there isn't any of lag. So I, I believe the beauty of this movie is the fact that it was shot in a real life uh, location and it's too authentic. Um, uh, I think uh, Khidr cho chose the perfect location for us, even though so unfortunately I did not have the opportunity to go, but I was getting the videos of the shooting on a daily basis. And um, I can tell you from experience that um, shooting such locations becomes very tricky because you're controlling an already existing environment. You're, you're trying to, to leave it as, um, as normal as possible without any interventions. It's as if you're, you're shooting in, um, I don't know, in a forest, right? You cannot control the forest. So it's the same, it's the same idea here. So, uh, and we wanted to keep it that way to reflect the, the I mean, to, to give it authenticity, to give the story authenticity, and I think we succeeded. We did not touch anything there, but I think controlling everyone around was, um, I think it took Superman work to, to get it done, but I think people were very cooperative. Uh, they were quite happy that we, uh, we were there, we were shooting their life. Uh, they understood what we were trying to do and they were actually quite helpful. So um, I think um, it did not take us much time to explain to them or show them what we're trying to do. And they bought into the story. Actually, I believe Khidr, um, we, we have a couple of actors from the people who are living there uh, who contributed in, in, a very, um, in very small roles. 
so they are showing there. So I think uh, we made the best out of the location that we were in. As a in. matter of fact, because, because of we, we started shooting in the beginning of COVID, in the beginning of the corona, so Shireen yeah. got stuck in Dubai and she couldn't make it, unfortunately. But actually, Rami, this son of a gun, he made it and he... Yeah, he, he was the lucky guy. Here. So probably, Rami, <laughs> you need to, to, to answer a lot of this, uh, this question if you want. Because he, he's seen um, in everything. Sure. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to hog the mic very quickly. Just to add to what Shireen was saying, I was very lucky to be able to hop a flight the same day uh, of the beginning of the shooting. I arrived, I think, two hours within to the start of the first day. Um, and I think Sh Shireen describes it perfectly as if she was there. Um, people were, I mean, it's amazing. And I'm sure it's also because of Khidr sent mm. here all of the But anyways, the individuals in um, in this neighborhood, it's so it's so authentic. We did not. Most of our sets were real homes, were real streets where people are uh, moving about, right? Um, and you know, the, and it's a neighborhood that operates. A lot of the bread and butter of this neighborhood comes from the rickshaws, the tuktos, uh, and how it, this, they understand the industry. It wasn't hard for them to get the notion of what we were doing. Um, so no, it was it was great. I mean, it's it's amazing to shoot something of the sort within old Cairo. Uh, it's it's got its own charm for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and th their character who played uh, Tok Tok, she, is she a professional actress? Um, I mean, do you want to go, ahead, go, go ahead. ahead? Okay, yes. sure. No, uh, let's yeah, uh, let answer these questions. Okay, go ahead. Please, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh me? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, so, I think I think it was a hard uh, casting. So can I, I'm sorry, I'll just jump in for one second. I'll give Khidr that, how, and I, cause he's not, yeah, yeah I'll tell you exactly. something. Exactly. How many, yeah. how many actresses? Uh, uh, so I will. To the audition. Yeah, I, I, I know Khidr is humble, so I'm just gonna jump in and say that uh, straight up as a producer. Uh, I have, it's rare in Egypt when you go through a legitimate casting approach where a lot of the mainstream or blockbusters, if you will, will hire people within the community of like favored actors, even if not for the main primary role. I'll give Khidr this. He definitely did a legitimate professional casting approach. We, I think it was tens and tens of different women who came in and auditioned for that. And it was based on, yeah, yeah, well, sure. <laughs> so, um, and it was really based on like, what are we looking at? What are, what are the characteristics of this individual we're looking for, this person? Like it wasn't just based on someone, obviously uh, Ilham is, is, is gorgeous and, 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 and has amazing presence on, in, on the camera, but mm -hmm. on the screen, sorry. But, but it wasn't just that. It wasn't just, let's get the best looking star on, on screen. We were just lucky uh, to have that. But, mm. uh, but uh, truly it was, a phenomenal casting approach and he did go mm. through lots of people and like going back and forth and who would be the best person to personify mm. this character and honestly mm. hands down to him he did a great job and remember mm. we used to create a poster for each one in the casting to imagine how it's going to be remember yeah <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah i do i remember dozens of women on, mm. on posters so we just make sure that mm. it's good on yeah. camera that's all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you made it, uh, you, you made it uh, big in a very short time, uh, in, uh, both of uh, Carthage or uh, uh, or uh, Clermont Ferrand are really huge festivals. So, would you describe for us uh, uh, the, rec uh, the reception of uh, of the audience toward the Tok Tok? Especially, it's uh, a very generic uh, issue. As a matter of fact, we didn't go to Carthage. Carthage was for another reason that I've been there. But we made it to Clermont-Ferrand for the world premiere and, uh, and then Pan-African Film Festival. And we are still waiting for the results since like a month. I mean, they announced the results internally, but they didn't announce it to, to anyone. And we're still waiting for the results. And we are having a lot of hopes, a lot of high hopes, inshallah. And then we made it uh, to uh, we made it to uh, in uh, in Canada in uh, Montreal, and then we uh, we actually uh, just won uh, yesterday Bahrain Film Festival. It was their first uh, first edition. Um, in a way or another, it was big and small at the same time. But you know everybody's uh, under COVID now, so it's all online mm -hmm. as well. And 
I think we, we just went through to, uh, the Vienna Awards film, film awards, and we, we won best actress as well, and we won uh, best drama. And we're still, uh, we're still going. And now we are in Alexandria for Alexandria Short Film Festival. And it's on ground and everybody was happy. Tuk Tuk was actually the, the film of the, the opening. Mm. And, uh, there was a lot of screaming and a lot of applause and a lot of whistles at the end of the film. And it was really moving. It was really amazing. Rami should have been there. Seriously, you should have been there. Everyone should have been there. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. People just like screamed, you know? It's like not just woohoo. They screamed, actually. It was, it was really good. The final was good. Grandiose. Mm -hmm. Well, Anissa, uh, you, hello, Anissa? I think we lost Anissa. Where is Anissa? Well, Rowan Halloween, uh, are you representing the present? Rowan? She's muted. We need to ask Rowan to unmute. Okay, uh, I asked Rawan to start the video and to unmute, but, and I will send a SMS to Rawan. Right. Yes. She's, she mute her microphone. Yeah, I think so. If you want, you can go to the next step and when she rejoin, Okay, it seems like Rowan is not here right now. Uh, could you please, uh, Muhammad, out of continue until we can reach Rowan? Yes. Yeah. And we lost Anissa as well. Okay, I will uh, I will contact Anissa and Rowan, and you can continue your uh, webinar. Just the back challenges to... of the yeah. day. There is as well. We have we have Fatma Fatma Shade as well. Okay, I will I will uh, promote directly now. Yep. And yep. Fatma Shade. Hello, Fatma. Hello, Fatma. Are you following? Uh, she's muted. Yeah. Hey, she's no, it's not right. anymore. I'm it's here. Yeah. Hi, there Fatma. Go. Hey. Good. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're very happy to have you here. Thank you. I'm very happy as well. So. Uh, uh, would you uh, tell us about uh, your uh, short tour before coming to Malmo? Uh, short tour? What do you mean by short tour? The, the, the festival you've been before Malmo? Uh, and how the of the audience? Uh, regarding Roadblock, we're talking about Roadblock, right? The Roadblock as well. Oh, actually, it, it was a question just to know which short you uh, are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Roadblock. I'm the one who wow. shot Roadblock. <laughs> yeah, very I'm feminine joking. team. Very yeah. feminine too. Yes. <laughs> Whoever well, 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 it was not intended. On that question, it, this way. it wasn't intended. No, mm. I, we are women that came together, but not like because we're against men, but just because we just came together. And <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys need to watch. I, I can't tell. I can't tell because when you when, yeah. when you see the, the, the negative character is always a man in roadblock. Even the lead actor looked negative. No, no. Even in the with the <laughs> yeah. yeah, he lied. Okay, but I know, but see, yeah, and, and a couple who doesn't lie in a relationship, but in here she lied last night, come in, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, but Heather, uh, also, uh, men in Tuk Tuk were very negative as well. 
Yes. <laughs> and I, I can't understand when Pascal, Fatma, Dalia, Marin make a, a short, of course. I mean, but... We are all storytellers. We say the truth. Okay, so this is... <laughs> exactly. And, and you know, you, you know the, the brother, the brother in the film encouraged her actually, right? So no, the, there were some good men there. <laughs> yeah, two scenes, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. wasn't a couple of yeah. scenes, as I remember that's, the short. <laughs> Muhammad, that's the that's that's the ratio. That's the ratio. It's like two scenes good, 55, 70 bad. So that's 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 the right ratio. <laughs> that's the middle. Uh, and uh, so we have Muhammad Awad with us. So Muhammad Awad's from Taktuk as well? No. No. So some Muhammad Awad is there. It's not true. Well, Anissa, do we have Anissa or we're still? Uh, no, we lost Anissa as well. We're still, uh, okay, unfortunately, unfortunately. Uh, so a, a, a new question I, I've never expected uh, uh, to ask, but uh, since uh, since last year, I, I started to tell everybody. Uh, 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 how 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 is your experience with online festivals? Can you still uh, NCUS to screen your, uh, your 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 films uh, via uh, platforms, or are you still not happy about this? Yesterday, two days ago. The, this question is for all. Two days ago. Tell us past, your online experience with festivals. No big no. It's a big no. You know, you lose, uh, you lose the contacts of the people. That was uh, like the emulation you get when you meet a lot of people from the uh, domain. So that's mm -hmm. what I would miss. And, uh, and watching a movie by yourself on a computer, you don't have the screen, you don't have, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Seems like mm -hmm. fire. Yeah, there's, there's certainly a lost charm, if you will. Um, the point being is that, um, and I think Khidr was alluding to that as well, that uh, because they were lucky, the rest of the Tuk Tuk team to, to attend and have the screening in Alexandria in person. Uh, each country has its own uh, decisions to come when it comes to COVID, yeah. I suppose. Uh, and uh, I, I think the reaction of the audience, yes. the, the gauging the reaction um, um, it, it's quite essential when it comes to, you know, showcasing your product. I mean, and as I think Marie was saying uh, that, uh, you know, like again, 95% of, of a film festival is obviously showcasing your, 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 your infant, your child, your baby, uh, which is your film, but also to converse and connect and communicate and look for new projects and criticize other projects or have chats that are, I mean, it's hard to I mean, have side chats with other filmmakers where you would say gossip about, you know, like I like this film or I didn't like that one or all these dynamic things that you are certainly missing out. However, with all that said, we're certainly most grateful for all the efforts of all the festivals that are continuing to go online simply because, you know, for people like Khadr Shirin, myself, for example, and all our other esteemed guests here, People have worked damn hard in 2020 and in 2019 to to come up, you know, to build to to create their their products and their films. So to wait for so long uh, is hard, and I think that it's an opportune moment for people to at least showcase um, their their films. And the one last thing I will say is that on the other hand, with the positive silver lining of of festivals being online, is that some people that would have never been able to see your films are now seeing them because mm -hmm. going to festivals costs money and uh, sometimes it's hard. Some of them are fairly hard to get invites to, right? So and now visas more, more and more visas and, and no, no, but not just that, like limited, capa yeah, limited capacity, you know, sometimes just for industry folks only or people that are known as industry folks, but not up and coming. So I think there's a silver lining in saying that, listen, here I am in Toronto. Some people are in Sweden, others are in Cairo, others in Alexandria, others elsewhere around the globe. And uh, here we all, all, all are discussing our projects and 
and, and having that opportunity. So I think moving forward, obviously there's no replacing the in-person experience, but mm -hmm. it would be nice to take some uh, positives out of this COVID uh, fiasco and perhaps open it more to the public in some capacity online. But these are like mm -hmm. my humble thoughts. Mm -hmm. But all of you, don't you see it an opportunity to enter to, for shorts, especially uh, to enter the VOD club? Yeah, and people start, people start to, uh, I mean, f f shorts filmmakers will start to make a, a global uh, story, something goes, uh, can, can be applied in any, uh, in any societies so for uh, many people can watch, so you create demand on, uh, on shorts. So platforms via festivals is a good test for this. I don't know, as a matter of fact, I, I, I think that uh, these days uh, people are going more to, uh, to Netflix with uh, shorts. And uh, I was actually surprised a lot of uh, when, uh, when I found the, the film of, can you hear me? When I found the film of uh, Reham Abdel Ghafoor, Wahda uh, Keda, found it on Netflix. And this film was like uh, produced like four months ago and now roaming into netflix and, and it was like really weird because it was just a few weeks ago with us in another festival and he was contributing and then suddenly wow it's on netflix now so maybe maybe the 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 the, the s-vault platforms and uh it's 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 maybe it's gonna be it's gonna be something something good for the short films i hope and uh but but still, in answering your question, I think I think that the interaction with people, I mean, taking a flight and traveling and going and meeting people, even in the plane, you meet the people that you, when you land, you are together, and then you start establishing communication and you start like brainstorming together sometimes, and you you just like meet up and, and exchange. It's called cross cultural executive. You know what I'm saying? Here, I mean, I mean, I'm I'm really happy to see you all. Maybe maybe we would never have this panel when. If, if we're on ground, uh, but still, still, I, I still do believe that interaction is, is key. I mean, physical interaction is key. Meeting people, shaking hands again, shaking hands. I miss shaking hands. I miss holding people and you know, just like these, these old thoughts and these old emotions and passion about what we do. Uh, mm. And maybe, maybe because we, still we are storytellers and producers and this is, this is our passion and this is our motive in life and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. I do uh, Marie, I would like to uh, ask you uh, about this matter as well, but from uh, other perspective. Uh, Roadblock is a co-production, Lebanon and France, right? Um, no, <laughs> yeah, but no. I mean, it's because I'm French and Lebanese, but uh, <laughs> that's why. Mm -hmm. Because since we had to uh, to push the shooting, um, basically, it was planned to be shot in 2021 or two, even so. So it was mm -hmm. not even uh, happened. Uh, so when we had to to make it closer, um, I couldn't wait anymore for any co-production or anything. So we just uh, yeah. My, my question actually is about the impact on co-production. Um, I can tell you more about that on my other projects to come because yes, of course, co-production between Europe and, uh, and, and is it the same easy to uh, pitch your, uh, your your new project uh, online? Uh, mean one to one meeting? How can you handle all of this on uh, online at the same time? But I mean, and and the festival, I, I, and we can uh, a bit more hand, handling this. Uh, I would say to, to find the positive in this because I agree with uh, Mohammed that there is no there is no such thing as meeting people. But to see the positive in that, I I have to say when you when you are pitching stuff or um, or in platforms uh, to find crop producers, I happen to enjoy Zoom because you you, you get an intimacy. It's pretty weird and it's very uh, uh, cold. You're away. But in sort of, I know you you enter people's home in a way. So so I happen to to be in situations with very famous distributors, and all of a sudden their kid arrive and just jump on their head, and so it breaks the ice because you know you're just sharing a moment as well. 
So yeah, there you can find some positivity in it, but uh, I think the brainstorming and all that comes easier when you see the people face to face. For Rami and Shireen, uh, uh, talk talk maybe uh, if you if you try to make it uh, 10 years ago, uh, it would uh, it would acquire many uh, good funds from uh, from NGOs because it's an, a great matter of interest the feminist uh, issues uh, now and the situation in Egypt is uh, is kind of critical uh, to have. Uh, an external fund for uh, for such kind of uh, of projects. So, uh, did yeah. you find difficulties to uh, to fund uh, to fund or finance uh, uh, Tuk Tuk? You, uh, you want to go ahead first? Yeah, go ahead. No, no, please, no, no, no. Uh, okay. Shireen has a delay. Right. Shireen has a delay in sound because uh, her laptop is. Uh, is uh, is uh, is closed and uh, it has something related to security. So she's from her mobile. She's from her Emirati yeah. mobile in Alexandria. So imagine the okay. The so <laughs> so I'll go. I'll, I'll just go very quickly, um, and then if Shireen would like to uh, to respond afterwards. Look, um, it's not hard to find money for uh, Tuk Tuk, and it wouldn't be hard to get funding for it even internationally because I understand what you're referring to very well. Uh, but it's uh, th this was an, an intimate project for all of us, and it was uh, a pleasure, I feel, for all of us to directly fund it. Uh, also, I'll give Khadr a lot of credit. Uh, the man knows how to run a budget, and uh, uh, it looks much more expensive than it is. Um, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, he did a great job with that. Uh, very efficient. Um, Look, there, there is still plenty of room for uh, funding projects like this. Um, we just really haven't, I mean, we haven't tried because um, essentially um, uh, we, all of our, all of our three, uh, all three of us, all of our hearts are into this. Uh, we believe in the topic. We believe in the, the necessity and importance to highlight these issues. Uh, and these issues are not going away. Uh, you know, uh, the plight of, of what, like single mothers in Egypt and elsewhere globally um, uh, will forever the be way issue, women. Hopefully not. Yeah, you know, so, but yeah. uh, um, um, I guess that's my kind of quick answer to that. Shireen, if you'd like to add, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would just say that, um, yeah, it was directly funded, but I think for me personally, uh, it was a matter close to my heart i mean it's talking about a woman who is carving her way out of um out of a problem that she has um she is showing great strength great great ability uh she is just jumping through hoops to provide for her family she did not stop she did not just wait for help she just wanted to make things happen so i mean reading a script like that in a time where we are talking about women empowerment we're trying to send out a message um and we're trying even to change the way that people look at uh female debtors in egypt all of that combined um it just it makes you go out of passion i mean yes we can definitely go and approach ngos and fund funding but Sometimes you feel like, you know what, no, I want this to be me because I want this to go and see the light. And, um, you know, uh, it's just it, you, you have a sense of pride when you're contributing to something like that. So I, I, I believe that uh, maybe in later projects we can do this. But for this one, Tuk Tuk in particular is very close to heart. Yeah, agreed. I think Mohammed, you're muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm happy uh, to program uh, Roadblock for the second festival. Uh, and I need to ask uh, you all, uh, crew, uh, Roadblock uh, crew, uh, are you uh, working on a new project altogether? Can I answer? Or anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Because I know uh, we have several projects that will obviously be in a way or another together. 
uh, Dahlia has a short movie that she has been writing and she we are financing right now. And most probably Fatma may work on it. So, and Pascal is never very far from it also. And Pascal is writing um, a long feature and um, uh, Dahlia might direct it, but this is not uh, settled yet. And Fatma is pretty much uh, in our thoughts for everything. So, <laughs> and she has, uh, she's going to direct also a documentary. So Dahlia and Pascal won't work in this one, but I know it's, it's more than just a team. I think we, we got used to work together also and to share our projects uh, in general. So. I kid we're gonna work together again because when it works so well, and no, it's hard to find people where I'm with, with whom not only you work well with, but, but you have a really good time with. Yeah, you have to hang on to these people and grow together. So I, I yeah, of course we're gonna work together again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know guys, I, I, I've seen, I, I saw Roadblock. I saw it before. I yeah. saw it in, uh, when, when out of in October, last October, right? And Gona. Gona. I saw it and it's a beautiful movie. And you girls have to watch Tuk Tuk. You're gonna like it, I promise you. How, um, Hamad, how could we reach uh, the other shorts uh, of this selection? Because uh, I know you were talking about accessibility of the shorts. I was uh, trying to think about that because uh, it's good, yeah, for the, um, it's a very good chance to have those festivals. But until now, I didn't really find the way to myself watch the, the other's project. So I feel kind of frustrated at the end. <laughs> Yeah. Me too, by the way, because unfortunately, uh, uh, many titles is not available in the region because it's not released yet. Hi. So. And uh, most of uh, the titles are very brand new. So uh, uh, mainly our webinar is uh, for uh, for the Scandinavian region for uh, uh, for for Sweden. Yeah, so we have to wait or to to exchange each other's uh, links. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I suppose. Exactly. Promise. Exactly. You, really, you really have to watch Road Block. You really have to watch it. Yeah, I, I will be, I've, I've I've actually heard of it and I really want to see it. Uh, so yeah. if you guys get if you guys can hook us that's up. That's what we'll worries me, by the way, <laughs> not the present. That's what worries yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> we should, we should ex exchange some uh, Vimeo links or something. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. That would be wonderful. For sure. Yeah, yeah, maybe great. if Mohammed at the end you can help us out in sharing emails or um, or contacts or the. I don't yeah, know. according to the EU regulations, we cannot uh, give. Uh, ah. Uh, give ah. Uh, okay. But everybody say yes, I can do it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. yes. Oh yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Fatma is on. Uh, I was gonna. He didn't say yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna okay. say this is the this is the Arab Film Festival, right? We don't do this kind of stuff. <laughs> no, it's no. Actually, it's it's a Swedish. Film. I'm joking, man. I'm, 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 <laughs> it's a Swedish for film festival. I was being facetious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I was being facetious. Yeah. Okay. But no. So, uh, Marine, you got the list. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I will do good use of it. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, I think we have a question here. Not right now. I'm a bit listening to you guys. Okay. Mohammed Awad wanted to say hi for everybody. Uh, hi, Mohammed Awad. I think. Hello. So the, the, the audience started to say something. Well, uh, it was really a great pleasure for me to uh, program this uh, uh, this package of, uh, of chores. I really enjoyed the uh, uh, watching it before, uh, and, and also, uh, and it was an honor for me uh, to program it. Uh, I wish you the best of luck, and uh, see you tomorrow with another the, with the uh, other have, five editors. Atif, I have a question for you. Can I? Of course. Oh, of course. Can I? Uh, what made you put us all in the package number one? Why did you select all those five films in package number one? On, on which basis? I mean, it's a great. Uh, it's a scary package in a way for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a great package. So, mm -hmm. so how did you decide to put it? Is it all based on timing or based on what to get into? Who? Okay. Uh, first of all, it's a scary lineup as usual of all my lineups everywhere. 
Okay. <laughs> so tomorrow and uh, the, the second package and the third package as well are very very strong shorts. You will uh, you will enjoy them. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them. I've seen them as well. You know, but I'm not there. Yeah. I'm not there. So, so, so now I'm talking about uh -huh. the whole package. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mainly, it's time wise. Time-wise, I, I, I have to make uh, the whole package around 90 minutes or 90-something 90, 90 minutes. Okay. Yeah, so, makes sense. Yeah. 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 Also, I have to uh, care about the diversity. Yeah, not every, not all the, the package from the same country. I'm, 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 I need to care, uh, care about the, the diversity the diversity of, uh, of countries as well. So I find yours from Egypt. Uh, uh, Rodlock from Lebanon, uh, Bath, uh, Anissa from uh, from Tunisia. Excellent. So th th those are the and uh, and of course the gender uh, diversity. Not all of the, not all the package for uh, uh, male directors or female uh, directors, but uh, we always give uh, the, the majority to females. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So those are the uh, mainly the three uh, uh, the three concerns or the, the, the three things we care about when we uh, uh, prepare the package. Perfect. And you, Thank you, you so much. Next year, do you think that next year, inshallah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a Malmo Film Festival on ground? Inshallah, hopefully. Hopefully, inshallah, we have all the festivals on ground. So, but need to be prepared for the online life. Laulo. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you, you never know. Yeah. Yeah. See you. you never See you. Know. All right. Take care. Bye. Okay. Good luck with yeah. the conversation. Nice to meet you all. Bye-bye. Right. Right. Good luck, everybody. Bye. Nice to meet you all. Good luck. Bye. Bye.